Hey guys, what's up? Charlie here. Welcome back to Prison Architect. Hope you guys had a great holiday break. I am uh, I'm back in my house now. It's glorious. And okay, so let's give you a quick update. We've got these buildings all built now. And I want to go ahead and make sure the utilities are in place. And you'll notice that even though I'm extending this pipe, hopefully this gets built really quickly because I think this will be enough. But I've extended this big long pipe here. I didn't want to go through the cells with the big pipe, so I kind of went around them. It doesn't really... I, if they're going to dig, they're going to get there, but whatever. Um, went around this way, extended it this way, hoping that the water could reach this entire area. I'm hoping that that's the case. I don't want to extend this one anymore, so i got to extend it on that side. Now, hot water is another story because I don't have another water boiler. I'm not entirely sure where I would put one. It's usually got to be, well, it's like right here, right? The water boiler's here. So this line here, I've already got this hot water line started because I know this one will, this one will, this one will reach. It's gonna be hard to talk now. Go figure. This one will reach. I'm pretty sure this one isn't gonna reach all the way though. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident in that. So I'm probably gonna need another water boiler. I don't know. This one could maybe. It's hard to tell. If I run this one along here and kick it down into there, I wonder how far that will go. Let's, let's uh, speed this up. Uh, in the last episode, Felix got out. That's a big deal. Our big primary gang member, the biggest gang, the leader, he was kind of chill. And he's really smart about things, and he got out. So he's a free man as far as I know anyway. Taking a look at the whole gangs as they all sort of flow through the prison. This, like organic movement, like this town slash city feeling. Uh, if you haven't watched the very first episode and you kind of came in in the middle of this and you just said, nah, I'll just watch from there. Uh, the overall theme of this prison, the overall plan, the overall uh, goal, if you will, is to have an outdoor prison. It's, it's, it's like a town, right? So when you exit a building, uh, save for some certain instances... When you exit a building, you're outside. You go to the next building. That's sort of how that works. Uh, but you know, some instances, like the shop, for example, are kind of in the library. But then this is just considered the library, right? So the library happens to have a shop in the library. That's how I'm dealing with that. Uh, but like every cell, if you're in a cell, your door leads you to outside. So this is not foundation. This is outdoors, which means and we have all this, all the stuff turns on, right? All the, all the bells and whistles are turned on. We got weather, random events, gangs, etc. And so there's all these different considerations that go with prisoners um, when you're not sharing resources, like having a radiator to heat the thing. There's a radiator in every single cell. Every cell has its own radiator. It's extremely expensive. Uh, in the early stages of this prison, we had a really hard time with money. And then the gang violence and stuff didn't help much anyway. Like, it was really not that good of a deal. It was hard. I'll just throw it out there. It was pretty hard. I was like, how do you make money in this game? Uh, but eventually we worked through it. Got a couple of loans. We paid off our, our debts. We had a little bit of a vote there. But honestly, that was a really good decision. Paid off our debts. Uh, paid off. Brought back our prison. We had some strategic um, sort of... We went public for a short time. We had some investors, but... Now we own 100% of our prison. 100%. So there's our stuff. Looking pretty good. Prisoner capacity is at 332 or 322. Here's our finances. Exports were a little light yesterday. I've been doing a lot of construction, so the workmen haven't been over there near the trees. And now they are getting busy with my heat pipes, hopefully. Unless they're already installed. Yeah, they are. Oh, so this this doesn't actually reach. Yeah, this boiler doesn't reach there, so I'm gonna need to... Ah, shit. All right, I got an idea, I guess. We're gonna have to go like this. I didn't wanna do this, but I'm gonna bring this down one, wrapping around the big wall here. Uh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. I don't want the boiler to be in the way of this walkway. Maybe I can put it here. If I do that, then I can put the boiler here. Like that. 
then it'll kind of be like keeping the utilities together, sort of. Not really. I don't, I, I'm trying to. I'm just trying to say that that's the way it will be, but I really don't know. Uh, looks like the sprites are a little offset, so that's where I need that to go, and then I need to get to go there. Hopefully that takes care of my water problem. Ish. Probably should extend this down as well. Got another death. I'm gonna assume at the hands of Gordon. Is that what I'm seeing here? Guard is murdered by prisoner. Which prisoner? Uh, Gordon? Yep. Gordon again. Gordon again. Over and over and over we go. He's the only gang leader in the prison. So he's the only one that can get away with this crap. No one else can get away with this crap. <sighs> Some days, you guys are mentioning it, and I, I agree. Some days I do wish I could just, you know, put Scott Gordon in death row. I do wish that sometimes I could do that, but I, I can't. I just can't. It doesn't work that way. The game does not allow it to work that way. We got radios going off again. We got more fights. Yeah, over there. Patterson's kicking off now. Okay, fair enough. Take a look at the mail room here. And you're going to notice there's a whole lot of satchels. A whole lot of satchels to be delivered. Not a lot of mail being delivered. We have the same problem happening again now, I think. And this is after it was completely bulldozed. I just don't know what to do here. I don't understand what's going on with the mailroom. It just doesn't work. I, I'd love it to work. It just, you know, doesn't. And it, it, it is. I'm a little frustrated by it. It's it's one of those things where... The, I mean, this, this has a family... It's, this takes care of three needs. Right? The mail takes care of three different needs. Including family. And recreation. As well. It's a it's a wonderful thing. If I if I go to needs, right? We have where is it? Family. There's a little bit of a family need here. There's a pretty good recreation need too. You know, and it, it doesn't it doesn't it, we can't satisfy those things. Because I mean, we can with visitation, but the mail is supposed to supplement visitation because otherwise you'd have to have a huge vegetation rooms visitation rooms and I don't have huge visitation rooms I've got this one which is a fair decent size I think but it's not wait what's going on with this is this not did I not designate this uh, security security I did it must just be uh, the floor I didn't complete the floor then so let's let's get that done so it's all metal flooring again Oh, somebody left a good comment I read. Uh, good comment. This is looking weird, right? We were saying this is looking weird. And they said it looks weird because we didn't uh, put the marble in the doorway. So there we go. Put the marble in the doorway and we'll see if that solves the problem. All right. So this is my problem I'm trying to solve now. I was really hoping to have this done before intake because I want this, these cells filled. I'm just not sure I can. I'm just not sure that's something that's going to happen. Because of the hot water thing. As long as they have regular water, I think I'm probably fine. See, this, these two cells here don't have regular water. This one doesn't either, but this is because of me forgetting to put a pipe down. So that's a little different story. Totally forgot the pipes on that side. Water boiler. Oh, they still have to build this stuff, too. So I think once that gets built, this will be fine. So what I'm going to do is, as long as it's not preventing me from doing so, I'm going to mark these as cells, and we're going to intake. I want to get these in. I'm not 100% sure I have the amenities to uh, sustain this type of intake. I'm not entirely sure I have enough, say, canteens canteen space. I'm pretty sure this is going to be super full. Both of them are going to be too full. So I'm going to put another canteen right here. I know it's like the furthest possible point away from the storage, but we're going to put another storage here too. So we should have a, a decent storage. There's storage right here too. Should have a decent storage uh, nearby. 
hopefully. So uh, let's plan this out. If I go like this, and have this be another canteen. I can actually extend it just a little bit further, I think. Probably like this. Uh, yeah, like that. So I have that, that the canteen, and then I can also have the kitchen. Maybe just kind of be off to the side, like, no, it doesn't really need to be off to the side. We'll, we'll do it like there. Get rid of that wall. Yeah. So we can have this be another canteen. And that will be good, because it can serve quite a, quite a few people in this area. So I'm going to go with, uh, you know what, let's do a brick building. I don't know. It's Everything's concrete, but these offices are brick, so let's do a brick building right there. And I have to prioritize it because the workmen have such a huge load in their to-do list. Their, their to-do list is enormous. All my workmen are constantly busy with a huge to-do list because of this forestry. So the more construction I do, the less money I make per day. You'll notice this only says 12000 now. Where if I, didn't, if I wasn't constructing anything and spending money, and if I was just letting the workmen stay over here and do this all day, we'd be making almost 50 grand over here. So I like, I'm... I'm taking this number down because I'm building. Okay, so am I going to intake this time? This is a camera, and there's also a camera here. So let's get those cooked, get those hooked up too. I don't even think I have a camera. I don't think I have a camera monitor that can support that, actually. I think all my monitors are being used. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do I see an opening here? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's an opening for another one. So let's throw. Let's grab that one. Can you do all of them at once? Oh, you're switching between them. All right, so that was one too many. Apparently, it's one too many. So let's. Uh... Hold on. CCTV monitor, let's clear connections. All right, uh, how about this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm only seeing seven here too. Am I missing one? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This should have a connection left. You can do eight at once. Yep, there we go. When they turn blue, that means they're not being watched. So I want them to be red. As long as they're all red and it's not cycling between them, then I'm good. Otherwise you get, some cameras have to turn off and then it cycles through and we don't want that. One hour left until intake. Let's get the other one hooked up. What's this one got? One, two, wait, is that? It's got two connections to this. That's not right. Hold on. No, stop it. This camera clear. This CCTV monitor, connect here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Yeah. That's got one left too. And we're good, okay. So we have visuals over here. These are all cells now and their deployment should be maximum security. Maximum security all around. And let's go ahead and take out this fence. Let them walk through here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get rid of that light too. It's kind of in the way. We'll move the light. Maybe we'll move the light into the forestry. That way it's kind of out of the way. That's probably a good idea. And then I want a path laid. We're gonna, I'm gonna underneath the light be one place. And then I want this path laid. Um, why can't I make the path? Oh, that's underneath the, the wall, right? So the path can be like this then, here, and then this way. Uh, and then I want the path to be like that, like that. Yep, that will connect it to all those paths. And then also the path can be this way. Yep, and then also this way, and that connects all those paths is really nice. 
And we'll connect between here too, because why not? And we should intake bigger now. So nine minutes till intake. Let's take a look at what we got to do here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is also ten, so that's twenty. Twenty-six extra capacity here. So I'm thinking we take twenty of them. I think we fill twenty. So this is twenty-four total. Twenty-four total puts us at thirty-five out of two forty-six. So we'll have eleven more from there. So now ten more, nine. You know what? Let's let's leave it. Let's leave ten. So twenty-five new maximums plus a death row. No, sorry, twenty-four maximums plus a death row. So let's do twenty-five maximums plus death row. It's twenty-six total. I gotta imagine we're gonna get a gang member out of this. A gang member or two or several. I gotta imagine we're gonna get a lot out of this. Um, let's see about getting a door installed here. Let's do the large jail door right in the middle. Uh, let's do it like this, off to the side a little bit. It's a natural in from that from that path then. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be good. And then I'm gonna want a metal detector underneath there too. I'll wait till the building is complete though before I do that. There we go. Now we'll stick the metal detectors there. Pause the game again. We'll take a look at our intake in a second. I'm gonna grab brick wall and let's say, let's say all the food comes in over here and all the prisoners sit over here. Let's try that. So if that's the case, I want the kitchen door to be on that side. Um, yeah, brick wall. Yep. Uh, let's do it like there. I like to do it one off the wall. Because then I can put the food dishes on the side of the wall here, and it doesn't—it doesn't look bad on the the actual where the actual door is. It's again, just a design decision, design preference kind of thing. All right, now we need serving trays. I should have quite a few of those in storage. I should, if I ever find it. S. S is for serving tables. We have nine of them in storage. Good. So let's grab there, and I'll leave a space. No, no, we don't need a space. We'll just put two there. Or do we even need two? I'm going to put two anyway. I don't care. Two anyway. I'm also going to put some phones in here too. Because I know how these prisoners like their phones. Okay, now we need uh, tables and, uh, and, and benches. Let's start with the benches. Let's do it along the wall. So we'll do a bench there. Table, bench, bench, table, bench, bench, table, bench, bench, table, bench, bench, table. No, let's leave that space. And then we can put the phones on this side as well. Just like that. Okay. Now, if we, do we need more tables? It's kind of wide open here. I don't think we need any more, but I'm going to put more. Because we're going to have more prisoners on this side of the prison, so why not? Let's do that. Let's go back to benches. Uh, I don't want to do it like this, though. Maybe we change it up. Maybe we go like this. This will be interesting. Just something to, just something interesting to do. Just something different, you know? That's going to be fine. Now put the tables there like this. Table, table, right? And then table, 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 table. Okay, cool. All of that needs to be prioritized. Go ahead, fellas. Oh, never mind. Hang on. We got to do the kitchen, too. So the kitchen needs a sink. Uh, how's the water? The water's coming in from this side. So the sinks, I think I'm going to put one there and also one there. So two sinks to wash dishes and stuff on. I'm going to want to have some bins. And we'll put the bins kind of... I'm not sure where to put the bins. We could put one bin there. I can, guess I could put another bin over here. Next to the door. And then I want cookers. Uh, let's do... I kind of like this... I kind of like this, this, this way of doing it. Where I go like... This and then back. 
It's like, so one can stand on this side, one can stand on this side. I kind of like that. So let's do, you know what? Let's do three cookers like this. That looks interesting. Just got to change it up, you know? And then fridges. We want some fridges as well. So we can kind of do the same thing. Or I can just put it along the wall. Let's just put it along the wall. One, uh, two, here. No. Well, we could put one there. If I scoot these, let's scoot these over a little bit. If I scoot them, you know, let's do the fridges first. How about that? We go like this. And then we have another fridge, let's say there. Is that good? I don't know if it's good to do that. Like, does this mean they can't access it? They probably can. I'm gonna assume there's like a little path they can walk through here. It just makes sense to me anyway. So. Okay, so then we're gonna go like this, like this, and then like this. Yep. And that will be our kitchen. I put another fridge in here, why not? Let's put another fridge there. And another bin. Let's stick another bin like like there. Yeah. Some place for them to throw stuff away. Okay. And then oh, and then of course we need the wall. So uh, the wall will be like this. Oh, I already I already drew it. Okay. Good. Okay. So all of that is priority. Whoops. Wrong wrong button. All of that is priority too. Go ahead, workman. Now, let's come over here and see what we've got for prisoners. Huge intake of maximum security today. Let's go to the gang screen. No gangs in the first bus? Wow. No gangs in the first bus. Do have a couple of question marks, though. I would like to get those sorted out. Let's grab Alex Hughes. He's a good source of information. He's an instigator, that's no good. Let's just go a little bit faster here. Lots of question marks in that bus. We're gonna get that sorted out. Bam, okay, let's stop for a second. We've got a legendary. Um, first, I wanna get the law enforcement guy. He's ex-law enforcement. Where is he? Yep, this guy right here. I wanna get him uh, right here into protective custody. Okay, now. I think that's kind of it for the protection thing. Let's take a look at the gangs. Wow, we have a legendary, but I don't see any gang designation for him. Hold on, there's still time yet. <laughs> gangs, we do have quite a few gang members coming in today. I don't know if any of them are the legendary though. That's this guy. That guy's the legendary. Let's pause this really quick, check out gangs. He's a legendary, he's in red, but he's not the leader. That's odd. That's really odd. 97% chance to reoffend. Extremely strong, extremely, extremely tough, stoical, fearless, extremely quick, and he's in a gang, but he's not the leader. Probably because he's aggressive. And Felix is a smart man. Okay. Well, anyway, you're legendary, so automatically I'm putting you in supermax, so you will be taken care of appropriately anyway. But that's a pretty good intake, I think. And then we have our death row guy, Andrew Coombs. Sentenced to 87 years for multiple crimes, including murder, grievous bodily harm, and aggravated assault. He has almost a 50-50 chance of getting uh, clemency, though. He's also in a gang. Uh, he is in blue. There you go. Okay, that's a pretty good import. I'm good with that. Pretty good intake there. You might need a different, you might need a bigger visitation room. We have, uh, that doesn't really say. This just says 49 visitors on site in 21 groups. So, I mean, it doesn't say anyone's waiting for visitation. It does say we've got 16 staff exhausted and I think that means we need another staff room. I just can't. This is it, guys. Like, it's not it's not going out. It's not being delivered. Like, that's just that's just the way this is. It is not being delivered. Like, what do I do to fix this? I don't know. Let's try this. This is probably... I, I just don't think this is a good effort. But 
Um, because it's not being delivered. So I'm going to put a fence here. That's going to cut off the armory. I'm going to move this fence. That doesn't really matter, does it? That doesn't really matter at all, actually. What does matter is this one, because I want to get the door. Um, okay, let's try this then. Let's put a door here. Okay. Put a door here. And we'll get some prisoners to work in here. Maybe they'll deliver it. I don't know. I'm I'm out of options here. I'm out of I'm really I'm really stuck on this. This this is the most frustrating part of my prison right here is the mailroom situation. I just feel like the mail system is bugged in this game and it's not going to be fixed. Unless they've snuck in some sort of fix in the next version, I don't know, but I just feel like this is one of those things where you just got to chalk it up and say, hey, you know, it doesn't work. It's all there is. I don't know. It could just be my prison. It may not be something universally that doesn't work. It could just be my prison that doesn't work this way. Well, that was a big glitch. Stutter. Big stutter. Uh, actually, this also needs to go. So let's get rid of this fence and I think with prisoners being on this side ooh, do I want them to be exploring up here though not really although what's harm are they gonna do we got a sniper on the I, don't, I think they're gonna be fine but I'm gonna take and just kind of cut them off here though so they can't go that way for now let's demolish this uh, no let's just yeah, let's just demolish this, but I want to leave this. I want to leave that fence, but I want to demolish those two. And then we'll take and demolish that one, and we can just get rid of that one too. Let's get paving stone along this path here. Whoa, big stutters. Hello. Yep, okay. Uh, do we not have electricity through here somehow? Somehow. It's over here, but let's just hook it up this way. Oh, hang on. I never even thought about this. Pause it. Uh, this power supply, I don't know if it could handle this. Can it handle more? I, need, I might need to offload some more to this other one. Like I did before. I could... I could put these washing machines on this other grid. I could totally do that. So let's do that. Let's dismantle... Wow, that's not at all what I want to do. My god. No, please. Uh, let's take... Oh, it's not going to let me... Hang on, maybe I can tab it. Can I tab this? Um, tab... No, I can't tab it. Of course not. Alright, I need to disconnect it somewhere else then. So... How about I disconnect it here? And it'll just be like, and here. And then I need to redraw the electrical cable to be this way, but then also need to connect it there. So let's get that prioritized. Did I not disconnect this? I'm sure I told it to disconnect this. Maybe not. Disconnect that. And that. Let's prioritize that. Good. And then also, I want you to build there. So we'll get this switch to where these are on this other grid. Hopefully that leaves enough space on the grid for this one to be able to power all the things it needs to power, which in this case is basically, you know, the stove and stuff. All the stoves. Yep. This will all be connected once it's done. Also, we don't have any water to the sinks, so we got to do that too. Just drag that down. Should be fine. Get all that done too, guys. Okay, lots of things for my workmen to do. I think I'm going to call the episode here. I still don't have an idea of what to do with this, but if I go to deployment, say max sec only in this room. Max sec is in through here too. Yes. 
and here. Okay. Oh, this isn't even designated yet. Hang on. Um, make this a kitchen. Make this a canteen. Oh, it got really quiet. There's no sound at all. Um, so with this being done, I can take and, and hire some people to work in here. And see if that fixes anything, which I really doubt it, but... Um, I mean, what are you going to do, you know? I don't know. I don't think there's anything I can do about this. I'm giving it one last... I'm giving it the old college try right now. And we'll see if that does anything. And then I think I'm going to make a staff room here too. So let's just get another uh, brick building. And let's go... I'll just build it off of this one. So we can kind of do like this. Just build it off there and then maybe we'll do like uh, another dog kennel or something here. That actually would be a good idea. Yeah, we'll just kind of do that. Uh, so we'll get a door. This is going to be staff doors on both of them. So we'll do staff door there and another there as well. We'll put a wall between them and call it good. Got some people coming to work inside. Let's also get some deployment in here. So that we can make sure that we have people in here at all times. Hopefully we get some people working. Are you going to do anything? Are you going to sort the mail at all? Is anything going to get delivered? It's just... They're not... They're just, they're just standing around. They're not even sorting. They're just going to stand around. Where are my guards that are supposed to be in here? I told them to deploy a long time ago. I don't know. Let's get this uh, like that. I guess that'd be fine. Then we're gonna have. Ah, uh, uh, where is it? Wide sofa. There it is. Put a wide sofa there. Put a drink machine there. Call that a staff room for now. And then we want also dog kennels. Where are the dog kennels? There we go, dog crates. Just line them along this wall for now. Yeah, we can line them along this wall too. It's probably fine. And then we'll call this room a kennel. There we go, this room's a kennel. And this room is a, another staff room. There we go. So that should be good. That should help out, I think, a little bit. Look at this. No, it's just all dirty. It's all dirty, but they're not sorting the mail. They're just refusing to deliver anything. This isn't going to work either. So frustrating. Staff only this. Let's get them out of. Let's get them out of there. Go work in the workshop instead, please. Go do your workshop instead. Take this door away. Yeah, whatever. You know what? Leave it. They're not supposed to be in here anyway, so we'll just leave it. Ah, <sighs> I want I want a solution to this. I want I want this to work so bad. It's like you put a whole bunch of time into something. You put a whole bunch of time into making like a really kick-ass prison that really works efficiently. Everything just works really well. We got the water all working now. The hot water works all over the place, except for the fact that I haven't actually drawn the hot water lines yet but you, you you work so hard to get something to something to work really well and then little bugs like this happen and it's just like this is not an alpha release anymore this is a full release game it's 2.0 full release game it's it's well beyond the alpha stages well beyond the beta stages and it doesn't happen with everybody's prison you know so i don't think it's inherently a flawed feature i don't think it's i don't think it's something that that the game is always broken with. I'm thinking maybe, I'm kind of hoping it's a mod, right? I'm kind of hoping that one of the mods that I installed is the reason why this is happening. I wish I knew that that was the answer, but I don't know. I wish I did. I wish I did. Two more deaths today. Probably Gordon. Actually not Gordon. It's in here, where there's no one, 
And there's no one deployed, because I didn't deploy anyone. Yay. I want a whole bunch of people in here during canteen hours. And during the yard time, I just want a couple in here, I guess. But I don't even need them in there for that. But We'll put two in there for now. But I need a whole bunch of people in here now. So, honestly, I'm just going to hire a few. Just to kind of keep this, just to kind of stick them in there, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna hire a few right now. Uh, I also need a camera in here. We know that. That's gotta happen. I'll put it there. Okay. I already said I was gonna end the episode, didn't I? And then I didn't do it. See how well I listened to myself? I just like playing Prison Architect, honestly. I think it's just that I never want it to end, but I also, I, 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 part of me wants it to end because there's bigger and better things planned. Some of you already know what that is. Um, and some of, and part of me doesn't want it to end because like I've got so much work to do on my plans, right? I gotta do all this yet. And I'm gonna build this land and get all this stuff done. And I gotta get all done by episode 100. Cause episode 100 is where I plan to end this series. So I gotta get it all done. Like I got 30 episodes left. Less than 30 episodes left, and I gotta get all that done. It's a big job. And if my mailroom's not working, then, like, this is just gonna keep getting cluttered over and over and over again. There's no deployment in here, but you're supposed to be working in here. Guards are supposed to be working in here, and they're not. It's not like I don't have any available. I've got 30 available. Right? Right? Got plenty. I don't know. Maybe the mailroom would just be a total loss. Maybe we'll just chalk this up as being something that isn't going to work. We just won't have a mailroom. I'll turn this into a another common room or something. I don't know. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe if you want more. And uh, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.